Hey, uh, Tomas, uh, congratulations. I'm glad I'm, I'm sure that you're happy to not hear us asking you questions about this anymore. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, what uh, gives you uh, confidence in the direction of the Sharks? You know, you mentioned that this year it's been a, a better year competitively, but, you know, specifically, uh, you know, uh, any elements of like who you're playing with or just in general, just any specific elements that make you more confident in this team's direction? Yeah, you know, we, we've been talking already this year, you know, it wasn't easy, you know, for us, you know, even this year you get through COVID after we get a lot of injuries, you know, it's just sometimes it's just all like, uh, all like, you know, a lot of teams, they go without injury all, all year, some guys don't. And I think it was really hard for us this year. Like we, we, we knew everybody, we need like put a couple more pieces, but, you know, I think when we are healthy, we got still, uh, like still players, you know, like Bernsey, Coach, Eric, Timo, like top top guys in NHL, and and I think some young guys I think improved too, and you know we already see what you know Eki uh, did, you know, out of the season, and hopefully he's like too getting to the, get to the league and be a big part of our organization, you know, and John Leonard have a big comeback, he started playing, you know, down there and he's coming back, so. There's still a lot of young guys. A lot of young guys they show they can play play hockey. You know, Mario Ferro get one of the best, you know, defensive defensive guy in the league. And and I see still a lot of potential. You know, it's it's still you you never know end of the day because every team is getting through, you know, and and it's just gonna be hard, you know, for every year, for many years, you know, top top team in the league, you know, like nobody can really do it. You know, we've been here for a lot of years. We got down a couple of years. Then now it's, I think, time to come back and be again, you know, playoff team. Corey? Congrats, Tomas. Um, so I, I knew, like, I know you said your, your heart is with the Sharks and you've said that a few times over the past month or so. Just what... Why, how did you fall in love with this area and why, why is that, why was that, how much of a role did that play in your decision? Oh, it, a lot, you know, it's, uh, you know, we've been nine years, you know, I, it's me, it's even me and my wife, we never live anywhere else than here. You know, we start like dating here before when I get to the league. So we, we start actually be living together in here in Bay Area and, and we, you know, over the years, you build a lot of friends, a lot of outside hockey friends and, and it's everything around, you know, it was everybody always was nice, you know, fans was always support me from the day one all the way to here. They are always cheering, you know, and and it's just, you know, there is, I can say not, nothing bad about like where, where we live and like about people, uh, the charge organization, they've been like from day one, always nice to me and, and started, you know, with the teammates. I got through some great players, you know, a jumbo puff body I can learn from one of the best guys in the in the game and they helped me out through to get you know player what I'm right now and I really thank them too for when they get me and and from day one I couldn't say better or about you know the organization how they give me chance for first right away from the first season and and really excited to I can keep it going here so the word from you know both sides, I guess, has been that you guys have been talking for a while. When when did the Sharks make this offer to you, and how long did you think about it? Uh, I can say uh, I don't know. It was like somewhere probably after like you know they have some calls after you know the bye week and after you know my agent little knew more. It was more calls between them, you know, than you know me and agent. So I know what's going on and. Uh, the offer and uh, but I still didn't know exactly what uh, what was going on you know but you just like kind of heard you know always you guys asking you see the rumors and it's kind of in before I get to the sleep you know I try not focus but you just think what what, what happened with me you know and especially my wife was asking me and I said I don't know because I don't know exactly and uh, but when it was getting closer it, I get more confident you know I, I can we can stay here we can sign and and be part of this organization thank you brody hey tomas congratulations buddy yeah. hey um you, you kind of alluded to it earlier you didn't 
You weren't even married when you became a shark. You definitely were not a dad. Uh, your English was still a work in progress. Um, I'm just wondering, to your point earlier about the area, is this also a part of the loyalty that, that, that you are? Like you're a very loyal person and that you want to, the sharks are all you've ever known and you kind of want to see this through as a shark? Uh, I think so, yeah. At the end of the day, I think I'm very loyal and I, I, I felt like you you feel like end of the day, like you have to give everything what you can back to the organization, back to the fans, you know, when they, they give you the chance and and I at the end of the day I think I'm a loyal guy and then and you know even you know everybody has tough times and I don't wanna be just like you okay you got we've been like conference final a couple three years ago we've been in finals and like in because of two years you wanna just like leave the board you know when I you wanna put it back and you wanna give the organization and the fans like the playoff and the, the winning games back and back on the track and and then it's not like I don't see that, but I, I see that it can come soon, you know, so uh, for sure that's uh, helped me out even more to decide it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Ted. Yeah, Tomas, you know, when you came into the Sharks as a rookie, you came in and do a really good situation. Um, and, and obviously now the team is in the midst of the the reset and trying to build it back up. How important is it to you to be part of that process to get the Sharks back to the heights that they were? Is that something that you considered during this process that you wanted to be a pillar of bringing the team back to where it was when you first joined it? Yeah, that's a hundred percent. You know, it's exactly you say I came to the league and there was one of the top already leagues in teams in the league and, you know, was winning a lot of games, you know, it was a lot of big names and, and now it's in a little different process, but, you know, uh, uh, I got nine years behind me and I know I'm part of the leadership group in our, this team and, and, uh, and I want to change that, you know, with guys we had here, we want to help young guys to get better and we want to carry the team. So, uh, I, I knew it's a little different situation, maybe year, years back, but uh, I'm ready for that, and I I know it's responsible, but I have to. Work, that's why I have to work it every day, and and on the ice, off the ice, and and just getting better because it's you know sharks put me a lot of faith, and 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 you can just lay down. You have to even doing more, and and just try get even better. Is that something you've talked about with the younger guys, trying to explain to them the? expectations that are associated with the franchise and then that guys like you and, and Logan Couture and Brent Burns and who have been there throughout the duration that you expect to get it back to that point. Yeah. You know, like they knew it's, it's, it, they, sh man, many guys saw it, you know, like you can say like Leno, you know, he started last year, he come to the league, he play and, and after you kind of hit the wall and it, it's, you, you will find it's not easy, you know, sometimes, when you get to the league, the first couple of games is seems like really easy and like every goal is coming for you. But when you hit a wall, you're playing the best league in the world. So you have to get better and you have to just keep pushing yourself if you want to stay in the league. And and that's why that's about us. You know, I think we can still do a little better job and push the younger guys and and we have to be the perfect example for them. When you knew this was being finalized, other other than your wife, who was the first person you texted? Uh, yeah, uh, I call my, you know, parents, my brother, and after follow like for the closest friends. Nice man. Congratulations. Thank you. Shang. Hey, Thomas, we've been, uh, you know, reading and writing about, you know, your plans since the summer, you know, you've been reading the same things, um, you know, uh, was there sort of a, a, what was the turning point that I guess, you know, you sort of knew, okay, yeah, I think I am going to come back, you know, was there sort of a, a turning point in time? Can you tell us? Uh, I think it was just, I don't know exactly, but it was just, we have good talks, you know, with, uh, with, you know, with Joe and with organization and just like how we move to forward because, you know, like we, you have been told because like, do I will, you know, fit like for them, like what they want to do, like what is, you know, the plan, because, you know, it's when you lose, you can miss kind of two years in, in the row playoff, you know, they can happen some changes. So you, you're just getting a talk and like what be next uh, the next step but over the years you know they told me what they expect from me and uh, like 
uh, the, what they will do. And I think we have good talks and that's uh, helped me out to make the decision. Yeah, that was my next question. Uh, uh, can you tell us anything about sort of, uh, like you said, uh, you know, two years out of the playoffs, you know, this year, you know, you guys are a little bit behind right now. You know, what is sort of the plan to get back to competitiveness, to get right back in the hunt, you know, quickly? Uh, I, uh, you know, for sure, we, you, you can really like manage it, but sometimes it's, a, well, everybody says a lot of times for luck, you know, so you, for sure you have to get a little bit, you know, healthy. You just, you know, when you're missing top guys, it's just tough to replace. And, and, you know, it's, I think last couple of years, we, we do, maybe we have young guys coming too early, maybe they've been ready, but it was because the years before we've been pushing, you know, win the cup. So we lose a lot of picks and. Uh, young guys, but now we get some young guys on the rise, you know, they uh, play better, you know, and uh, hopefully they'll, you know, they can prove it even better next year. So, so that's, uh, that's for sure help. And uh, we knew like, uh, I think we talked with, and, you know, we'll see even during the summer what happened, you know, uh, what we need, but it's, you know, more about like uh, Joe, Joe. Ken? Okay, yeah, I'd, I'd actually like to direct my uh, question to Joe Will, if possible, uh, a question and a follow-up, if I can. Um, Joe, Ken, first of all... We're still on Tomas, so if you have a question for Tomas, um, oh. otherwise, uh, please hold off for now. Oh, yeah, okay, for sure. Yeah, I didn't know that, sorry. Any other questions here for Tomas before we let him go? Shang? Uh, Tomas, just wondering, uh, just a, a more fun side. Uh, so, uh, from my understanding, you signed this before you got on the plane. So, how did you celebrate on the plane with the guys? Uh, I just like because it was still new, so I kind of slowly tell, uh, you know, just guys. So, you guys uh, tell them, uh, you know, I signed here for for another couple of years. So, I just talk guys, so everybody like congrats me, and and it's it was it's you know not much time for celebrating because we got. A lot of games moving forward, but we actually did just now in LA with uh, a couple of guys. We doing escape room, so we just escape room in the, one of the LA's rooms. So that, that was that was for sure fun. But I think uh, I already tell guys when we get uh, on the row. I think the I think it's April when we get like today and two days in Nashville. So I will like probably do some team dinner, you know, because you wanna give them back, you know, for teammates, trainers, because it's not you to get there, but you can just get there with your teammates because we play team sports. So, so I can think, you know, not just the players, but all trainers help me through the, you know, my nine, eight years here, because without them, you will, you just can't do it because you, you need help from, from everybody. And, and you have to always think, you know, not just your family, but teammates, the organization and all around, you know, Sharks room. And uh, speaking of teammates, um, you know, former or current teammates, you know, who did you talk to that kind of advised you on this? You know, we talked to Jumbo a couple of days ago. I don't know if you talked with him or Patty or, you know, anybody, you know, who sort of did you talk to, to uh, among your uh, former or current teammates to help you come to this decision? Uh, I just like, uh, you know, take a couple of guys, I don't want to like say, but like, uh, you, 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 you ask a couple of guys, but same, uh, you know, like, uh, what they probably like did in a situation, but you, end of the day, you have to decide by yourself because it's all different, you know, so everybody have different roles, everybody are different situations. So it's sometimes it's tough and, and, you know, a, a lot of guys, I was like, kind of like talking, they, they, they said I did a good decision. Okay, we'll go to Curtis and then we'll wrap with uh, Zdenek for Tomas. Hey, Tomas, I uh, just wanted to ask, have you, um, uh, as, as Doug or Hossler reached out to, to you? And if so, what, what, was their, what was their message to you? Uh, uh, actually, uh, I don't think Hossler yet, but I, 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 I'm scheduling, like uh, we have scheduled a Zoom call. So, so uh, we, uh, I will hopefully talk to him soon and I, uh, and uh, I got a quick uh, call from Doug to uh, thank me and, and he's really happy for me. All right, thank you.